They've been called game-breaking, deceptive, even downright deadly. <laughs> See? Now it's dead. So for the next 100 days, I'll be strapping myself to this camel to find every new block, item, and mob in 1.20 to see if this update lives up to the hype or die trying. Ah! So this might be the most ridiculous challenge I've attempted yet. Because not only do we have to rob almost every structure in the game, but these Humpty Dumpties can't jump, can't swim, can't mine, and make breaking blocks an all-day event. On the bright side, at least zombies can't get us up here. So with little hope and no time to waste, I set off on my journey like a majestic peacock wandering through the desert. And it didn't take long to find my first structure. Hey, there's a desert temple, which I totally didn't use junk base to find. But on day three, I found my first new block. Ba -ba -ba, suspicious sand. Not because of its criminal record, but because these bad boys have a secret that fortunately is no match for a little semi-platonic tickle fight. Pottery sherd. Please tell me I'm not saying that right. We're talking about sherds. Sherd, 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 sherd. YouTube is weird, man. But since there's 19 more of these shirts to find, we should probably get digging. And you better believe I excavated every desert well and temple within a thousand blocks to finally fulfill my archaeological dream of grave robbing dinosaur corpses. And it was... What the fu... So thanks to my incredible patience and careful nature, Oops. I think I've cleared every shirt from this entire desert, and I found a smithing template. Oh, dude! And to explain exactly what this paperweight does, here's Rec Rap. You can now take netherite ingots and put it as decoration on leather armor. Listen, he's got a big heart and a questionable sense of fashion, all right? But I still have almost 90 items to find and nowhere to put them. So on day 10, I set sail for greener pastures to build the most beautiful starter home this world has ever seen. And by home, I mean creepy murder hut in the woods. But I did build it completely out of new blocks, like block of bamboo, bamboo planks, mosaic buttons, fences, fence gates, pressure blades, signs, stairs, more stairs, slabs, more slabs, trap doors, strip bamboo, and of course, a bamboo front door, which I can't fit through. So on day 11, I met my new neighbors. Ah! Ah! Satan! Satan! Stop shooting! Ah! Satan! On day 12, I committed breaking and entering and theft. Yes! Wild armor trim! Man, this is kind of a bad neighborhood. Then on day 13, I decided to take this crime spree to a whole new dimension. Ow, 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 Sandy! That's my face! So apparently I can't ride mobs through portals. I may also need a CT scan. This was a huge problem because the only way to get all the new items in 1.20 is to visit all three dimensions. And with no way in, I was stuck. So there was only one thing that I could do. Wander thousands of blocks away to find another camel, spend an entire night getting a slime ball for a lead, build another nether portal, use a camera account to generate the nether to accept entities, send my new camel through the portal, walk into the same portal, and eject myself off my old camel, teleport me midair into the nether to latch myself safely onto the new camel on the other side. Or... Five second rule. Ah! But things are about to get very, very difficult. See, the nether is home to two structures and three trims that I still needed to find. And the only thing standing in my way was literally every living thing. Ah! Go, Camel, go! They're firing at us! <laughs> oh my god, get us in here. Okay, well, if I'm lucky, one of these chests should have the template that we're looking for. Okay, well, that's just ridiculously bad luck. But on the bright side, now we get to explore the nether on a camel. So on day 21, I traded for some fire res and set off on my journey. Ah! Why did it spawn right in front of me? <laughs> get a life, you freaking loser. 
Actually, please don't. Then on day 22, I made a bow, skewered a marshmallow, and found my first nether template. Oh, thank you, rib armor trim. But I still had two more templates to find, and the only thing more dangerous than the nether's monsters was my own stupidity. Kamel, I don't want you to panic, but I am now realizing I may have forgotten to use our fire res. No, I'm committed to seeing this through. But after an entire day of murderous wandering, something caught my eye. Oh, oh, there's a bastion right there. Oh, okay, sick. All right, it's time for some advanced camel travel tactics I've been working on, all right? I call it the camel stack. It's both wildly inconsistent and incredibly slow. Oh God, there's a brute. Get all the way on this edge real quick. Just gonna do a little reach past you and boom. Hey, there's another red upgrade. And there should be another treasure chest. There's another right scrap. Oh, 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 brute. Oh. Oh, nope, everything's fine. Now there's another treasure chest at the very bottom of these, but everything down there wants to kill me. So we're just gonna take this nice and slow. Uh, come out, move your face so I can shoot Wilbur. We're looking good. Oh, there's a chest right there. Yes! Snout! Oh! So that means we have all the nether templates. Now we just need to make it out of here without dying. So with an inventory full of treasures, I left the dangers of the nether behind me, at least for now. But while pillaging the remnants of a nearby shipwreck, ooh, coast templates, I realized I had a much more aquatic problem. So there's a ton of items that we need to get that can only be found at the bottom of the ocean in ocean ruins. But since Kamel here can't swim, getting them is not gonna be easy. So I had two options. One, search thousands of blocks of coastline to find the only ocean ruin incorrectly generating on land to steal their treasure without dipping a single hoof in the water. Wait, do you have hooves or is it like some kind of claw? Or option two, bring the structures to us. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna spend the next several hours draining them instead. Hooray. And you better believe I bridged, drained, and excavated my way through every ruin in this ocean to fulfill my second archaeological dream of becoming a professor whose love of treasure is only outmeasured by his sense of adventure. And it was me. Son of a b well, the good news is I have now found all seven of the shirts we needed from the ocean ruins and a pink sheep. Why do I always find you in these challenges? The bad news is I still have one more treasure to find and my inventory is completely full. If only there was an early game item that was meant to solve this exact issue. Fortunately, it didn't take long to find the dinosaur that I'd been looking for. Oh, oh, it's a sniffer egg, it's a sniffer egg. There it is, smells interesting. Oh, oh, and that's another one. Oh, oh. I'm going to hold you like a mother bird. And that was probably kind of weird. So with two more structures crossed off my list, I headed home to drop off my treasures and prepare myself for the deadliest task of this entire challenge. Oh no, 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 no. Well, if you're wondering why Kamel and I have drug you down to the pits of death itself, it's because ancient cities, like that one, are home to two very special smithing templates and a demon. But since camels aren't known for their stealthy nature, we're gonna need to take some precautions. So on day 35, I built a safety pit, grabbed some wool, and went shrieker hunting. Oh, it didn't work. It had a backup. Okay, bad decision. But it seemed that no matter how cautious I was, ah, okay, that's three. My camel had other plans. Maybe we can just take a quick peek at what's over. Okay, that was it. That's him. I summoned him. Oh God. So on day 37, I invented a new method of camel travel. I call this silent hooves. Okay, come out. You're supposed to step on the wool, okay? On day 38, I found chest upon chest of disappointment. Ah, go, Kamel! Go, go, go! Then on day 39, my persistence and lack of patience finally paid off. See any shriekers here though? It's because they don't seem to mean they don't exist. Oh, 
Oh, silence. Oh, but stealing the warden's vinyl template would be the most dangerous yet. Okay, there's one, two, three, four shriekers in this one little area. Let's just put some wool down to shut these guys up. Go for it and run. Go for it and run. Bravery. I'm so brave. Oh, it didn't set it off. Diamond horse armor. Again, why does this game hate camels so much? Everybody's calm. Everybody's cool. Everyone is collected. No one's gonna freak out. <gasps> Ward! Well, that was kind of anticlimactic. Go for it! Ah! There it is! He's coming! Oh god, I can't see anything and there's death around me. So while I look for an exit, do me a favor and take a look at that subscribe button. Oh god, Camel, I can't see it, but I know it's close! Still can't find it? Well, that's because YouTube is trying to hide the freaking button on television! Ah! I don't know where to go! Camel, I'm lost! Use your nose! Sniff it out! Well, no need to panic. Just pause the video, select the channel name, and presto! Now, you'll never miss another Bransy video again. Camel, I don't know about you, but I have never felt more alive. And thank you for supporting the channel on all your devices. It really means a lot to me. Oh, there he is. There he is. Ah! Ah! He shot my camel. You're a monster. An actual video. He's a monster. Look at you, Warden. Look at you stuck. Ah! Okay, two hearts is too... Okay, two hearts is too close. Two hearts is too close. Okay, Camel, let's go. I need to take a break. What day is it? So with two new templates, a record, and a dream, I abandoned the ancient city and made my escape. But after returning home and playing with my new armor trims, oh, I realized something. You know, a murder hut might not be the best place to raise children. So I grabbed my eggs and left my murder hut behind in search of the perfect place to call home and only one biome would do. Cherry groves. And I wouldn't stop searching no matter how many days, weeks, months, even years it took. Now I'm just kidding, it's actually been right next to my base this whole time. Oh, there's so many beautiful things to, to explore and to see. Look at this, okay, the petals, ding. Oh, there's cherry wood, ding. And I'm just getting started. Plank stairs, labs, strip logs, stripped wood, wood, fences, fence gates, trap doors, regular doors, pressure plates, button, leaves, saplings, and hanging signs. And there's not just cherry wood signs, there's signs for every single type of wood in the game. I could honestly not time that rain any better. That was actually really cool. And one short block montage later, we now have all 11 hanging signs. I also learned to my disappointment, sniffer eggs do not actually incubate in your inventory. I don't know why I assumed they were some kind of kangaroo. Instead, you place them on the ground and just wait. All right, this is boring. I'm gonna go build a house. So on day 52, I gathered some supplies. Day 53, I became a father. <laughs> I'm a father! I'm a daddy! And on day 55, I finally made this world a home. I mean, it's not much, it's just like a gazebo sort of thing. But we also have a sniffer pen. Uh, guys, be excited. The problem is, I never know when they actually dig something up. So the best way to fix that is with this. A calibrated skulk sensor. So now, whenever they start digging, it turns on this light, so I know there's something to come pick up. And if you're wondering why this is so important to our goal, since I've already gotten torch flowers, pitcher pods, and their respective seeds... Uh, yes. But I have spent way, and I mean way too many days playing with sniffers. I regret nothing, but it is time to get back to work. So let's set out on an adventure. So on day 60, I found an outpost, an armor trim, and freed some hostages. Be free, my children, be free, who I also imprisoned. Listen, it's for your own safety, okay? On day 62, I found a mansion, an armor trim, and freed some hostages. Be free, my children! Be free! I think I'm having deja vu. Ah! Ah! On day 63, I saved an endangered species. Can I steal your baby since I commissioned him being made? Then on day 64, I expanded the prison. Again, it's for your own safety, okay? And set off to find a brand new structure. It doesn't look like much from the top, but these new trail ruins are chuck full of treasures we need to find, which means more archaeology.
Oh, God. And you better believe I excavated every shirt and template in this entire trail ruin to fulfill my archaeological dream of fighting dinosaurs in short shorts, and it was So this trail ruin didn't have all the treasures I needed, so I gotta go find a, another one. Well, the good news is, I just found the last treasure that I needed. The better news is that I am never, ever gonna even think about archaeology again. You see this picture? That's me, as a kid, with my dad, excavating a little trilobite in the middle of the desert. And it's one of my favorite childhood memories, but now, I'm gonna set it on fire! Poof! It's gone! And you know what? I'm gonna go out and buy a freaking Tesla just so the term fossil fuels doesn't bring back nightmares of the last four hours of my life! And I don't even know! If those things are the same thing. So with every shirt, four more smithing templates, and a delicate mental state, I headed home to blow off some steam. And the best way to do that <gasps> is to get a freaking piglin head. Oh my gosh, dude. So on day 77, I found some friends and trapped them in a hole. Then I stole some obsidian. Oh, I hate you so badly. Built a murder trench and waited. Ah! Oh! Well, thank you. Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, there's too many. There's too many of them. There's two. Oh god, there's two. I almost just kind of need to kill him, to be completely honest. Oh gosh, I freed him. I freed him. Oh, get in the pit, please. Oh, he's in. Thank you. Oh, but now there's a Harlan chasing me. Oh yes, attack, attack, go, kill, murder. Yes, my minions, perfect. Oh god, no, oh, no, I am not great in pressure situations. Please, just leave me alone and- Oh, got him! All right, how did my minions do? Did you win? Oh, they won! And they're dancing! Now, come with me, please. It is time to die. Let me just light him. There it is. He's going! Oh! It was at this moment he knew. He f***ed up. Oh! Oh! I think I picked it up. Oh, that lava almost killed it. Oh, that was almost all for naught. Oh, that was so freaking close. And after a short and excessively morbid celebration, his ears are wiggling. It was time to get back to work. Now, the next item on our list is going to be the antithesis of riding a camel, the Tide Armor Trim, which you can only get from Elder Guardians. The problem is, since camels can't ride in boats or rafts with or without trunk space, our only option is to find a frozen ocean with an ocean monument. But since we don't have enough time, resources, or patience to drain the entire thing, we're gonna blow it up instead. And with the help of a little TNT duper, we can safely rain death upon the Elder Guardians inside. But although TNT doesn't destroy blocks in water, it does blow up mob drops like the trim that we're after. And since there's only a 20% chance this bad boy is dropped anyways, I really didn't want to waste it. Luckily, my friend Skip taught me that if we place a piece of sand on top first, ow, tried it, and then light it, Kablamo! Now we have an access hole that hopefully he can't escape out of. A few explosions they tell. Well, the monster has escaped the containment facility. We're just gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Oh, come get it, you big guppy. Come get it. I say, come get it. How many arrows do you take to die? Come on. Oh, he's back in the containment facility. Oh, that was a mistake, Senor Guppy. I got him! I'm looking, I see the sponge, but I don't see the tree. Oh, it's right there! Hold on, can I, can I coerce you? I did it! I got it! Woo! Oh, that's so freaking cool! So with another template added to my collection, I headed home, but time wasn't on my side. So we have about 14 days left to collect three more items, two of which I have saved for the very end because they are the most likely to get us killed. And the first order of business is to get to the end. So on day 87, I went blaze hunting. Oh, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. No, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. 
On day 88, I brewed some safety nets. Day 89, I snagged a few hundred leaves. And on day 90, I set off on one last adventure. Yep, there it goes. It's right here. It's right freaking here. There it is, baby, I spy. Oh, my pick is almost busted. I gotta be really careful here. Oh, but there's a library right there. No, but inside of these libraries, there's guaranteed if there's a chest, there it is. I armor trim. Oh, and efficiency four. This is perfect for the pick that I just freaking broke. God. God dang it, God dang it. All right, look at that, there's one up here. And look at that, we got another one. We are now down to our final trim that I have to find. And with victory closer than ever, it was time to put my camel to the ultimate test. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Five second rule. Oh, 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 I'm suffocating. Camel, sit, sit, down, down, Camel, down, down. Ah, ah, Camel, please. Whew, you know, for such wiggly ears, you sure don't like to listen. Okay, I'm out. I'm out of the hole. Whew, just in time. Now let's go kill a dragon. Oh god, I'm out of arrows. Okay, new plan. I'll try anything once. Well, when in doubt, attack the tail. What now, dragon? What? The Wait, what? Oh god, this is gonna take a minute. Oh, finally! God, it wasn't even hard, it was just time consuming. Unfortunately, killing the big bad bat isn't even half the problem, because now we need to find an end city, which typically we just use the end gateway to get to, but I don't think camels will fit in that one by one hole. So instead, I'm gonna bridge a thousand blocks into the void to get to the outer islands while on this camel, because that's what normal people decide to do on a Thursday night. Now, I've had plenty of practice doing this over the last 92 days, but never over the void and never for this long. Dude, my arm is actually shaking from just holding this place button for the last 30 minutes straight. So I took a break. A coffee break! Now I was shaking worse than ever, and the pain was growing with every block. Oh God, just end my suffering, please. I was on the home stretch, but I was weak from exhaustion. So I did the only thing that I could do. I had another coffee break. I might have a problem, but I couldn't think about that. I needed to focus because I couldn't turn back now. And I knew every block that I placed could be my last. I am never doing this again. And if you didn't subscribe earlier, don't you do it now. So I made port and set off to find an end city. Unfortunately, the final template was much rarer than I imagined. Like right there. Wait, I thought all the end cities had templates. Oh no, dude. You know, Kamel, I'm starting to think this is gonna be a lot freaking harder uh, than I had initially suspected. And I was right, because after days of nerve wracking bridging, chest upon chest of absolute garbage, and piloting a camel like an F-16 death cruiser. Kamel, things are going south very quickly for us here. My time was running out and I was getting further and further from home. So it seemed that despite all the obstacles I'd overcome and enemies I'd bravely defeated, ah! I had come so close to achieving my goal only to be defeated by Father Time. Until... Oh, there's a chest! Please, please. Yes! There it is! Spire! Oh, I have aspired to have that forever. We are leaving immediately, Camille. Let's... Freaking go! And call it bias or plain old storytelling, but after everything these camels and I had been through, I realized something. It may not bring the baddest boss or the biggest mountains, but this update is chuck full of one thing that makes Minecraft Minecraft adventure. So on day 99, I freed the sniffers and the prisoners. At least you have the freedom to choose how you'll end up dying. And on day 100, I saved the best new block for last. Chiseled bookshelf. Because after all, this is the Trails and Tales update. And after these last 100 days, I'd say we have quite the story to tell. 
camels. They've been called game-breaking, deceptive, 